There's a great deal that can be said about the flotilla, the Israeli naval commando raid, and so on. But just one particular aspect of this, and that's the Turkish reaction. Because countries have a, a right, perhaps a duty, to respond to any sort of international event. But Turkey? Now let's talk about the history of this country. First World War, just before and during, 1.5 million Armenian Christians slaughtered. An attempt at genocide. Hitler learned from this. There were actually German officers there who had some lessons. They repeated them later in the 1930s and 1940s. In Germany, of course, has done all it can to, to well, apologize, show contrition for the Holocaust. Turkey, they still deny the genocide occurred. They, if you like, state Holocaust deniers. We did not kill the Armenians. Yes, you did. You raped and slaughtered million and a half innocent people. They deny that. We have, what, uh, 20,000 Turkish troops going into Kurdistan, in Iraq, but autonomous Kurdistan. You had no right to. You went in there, you shelled, bombed, shot innocent men, women, and children. More than that, Roman Catholic Seminary. You closed it down by force. You've never tried to rebuild or reopen it. The most important church in the Eastern Orthodox faith. You destroyed that and built a mosque on top of it. Turkey speaking out against another country, criticizing another country for doing something wrong? <laughs> My goodness me, irony? It goes much deeper and it's much dirtier than that. Michael Corrin Show, join me.